What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here, and today we're talking about the new massive update from 3v3 with Halo MCC arriving on July 12th, 2023. And in this video, we're going to talk about a entire article about the update and it's all details and juicy information that we can jump into and expect on its release day. So let's jump into it. But if you like these news update videos, please make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Let's jump right into it first into Firefight. And I think Firefight is going to be the biggest addition or update when it comes to this, this new MCC addition that was here because of the fact that Firefight has been a staple in the Halo franchise for a while since Halo Reach really had um, and really brought this to the full. I know that Halo 3 ODST has kind of been like that where most people recognize firefight from but halo reach to me was where i had the most fun with firefight it expanded it and made it bigger and i think that was really the best part about it but overall i think when you look at firefight the biggest change that we see is the fact that we're going to be able to play eight players and i think this is a really really cool concept based on the article itself it said that they were unable to do it for up to this point when they started to adjust and change the engine i think the fact that we're finally getting an eight player firefight is going to be outrageous and i think the even better part about it is that you can do a custom firefight and i think that is really uh a really interesting and great concept that I really was excited to hear about when this update was first dropped because now you have the ability to customize like really all different aspects of the firefight mode where you can basically have you know different variants of this I think that's really the best part and you can kind of do a lot of different inner like inner customizations here which I think is really really great to see for an update of this size because MCC has not been updated since November, right? So that's been six months and now seeing something like this, a eight person firefight mode is really going to be a fun aspect that we can now enjoy together. Some smaller updates like a Halo 4 and Spartan Ops theater modes being added is a really cool thing too. A lot of people have been asking for this and they actually announced that they would be working on this on the 10th anniversary, 10th year anniversary of Halo 4, which is back in November. Uh, basically what this does, it allows us to kind of go into the campaign and kind of be able to take pictures and and use the different camera theater uh, from theater mode to kind of do different angles and, and take pictures and video of things that we probably have never been able to see um, when it comes to like trailers or what 3 for 3 themselves has posted out. So we're going to get a lot of cool and like dope photographs or videos like the ones you see on the screen that these things are going to be very different. And, and now we'll be able to experience this for the first time. And, and we saw the release with Halo 3's theater be a massive success. So now you're seeing Halo 4's get this treatment. I'm sure that you're, we're going to get this for more and more places uh, i think they're still working on halo infinite's theater mode but overall i think it's a great little update here but one of the bigger things i think that 343 is adding for this is the remapping of the buttons for the entirety of mcc and i think this is a great function that i thought was i was surprised they had not add this earlier but the fact that they are finally adding this to this update is a great thing it allows for players to kind of customize the way they want to play whether it's on controller or if it's on their just key mouse and keyboard you can now customize and remap your buttons so you can play whichever way you want to and the accessibility of this is just going to be a lot more expanded upon and same thing we saw we saw this originally with halo infinite and i think that that is why like 343 three said well you know we have for halo infinite we should be able to do this for mcc and they even made it where you can customize it to any level you want but even you can keep your your controls for halo infinite as consistent to mcc as well like for example they have the ability for you to mirror halo infinite's button schemes so that it's actually easier for you to play from one game to another without having to learn a new, new system or whatever it may be so it really just has it where everyone's on the same standard pretty good to see i think this is a great like little update but i think it's a it just makes it ease of access a lot easier but the biggest thing i think for this update and we're going to talk more about this as time goes on but escalation slayer being added to halo 3 is going to be a massive fun and enjoyable game mode and i think i'm really excited to see see it finally be added because i feel like in halo infinite it has been just phenomenal and i think it's been just absolutely a blast to play i know it's been added uh it, it's it's been as a halo infinite and a lot of people have really just enjoyed being able to jump into this and now we can actually get to see this to uh more different games that we're going to see escalation slayer be added into and they've been practicing they've been literally testing this out halo infinite has been literally like a fantastic rendition of escalation slayer basically it's the equivalent to things like gun game and i think that overall like they they are now adding this to halo 3 and it's like it's obviously going to be just such a fun experience i think it's gonna be great because you can also customize the different aspects of this you can actually 
can make it where you can create your own custom game you can set different guns for different tiers and i think this is going to be a really fun experience now the only difference between like halo 3 escalation slayer and halo infinite escalation slayer 3 is going more like gun game where it's like every kill gets you a different tier versus infinite is more like you have to get a certain amount of kills in order for you to move up to the next level so a little bit different but at the end of the day i think both of them were great game modes and i'm really excited to jump into halo 3 escalation slayer you know i gotta give a lot of props to the modded community small updates like the background video selection this is just small but i think it's a lot of fans are excited to see because of the fact that you get to now kind of customize your your experience like a lot of people love the older backgrounds from the previous games like halo ce and two and three had really dope backgrounds mcc's is like standard it's like a bait it's almost like the equivalent of just getting a color background not really anything special so the older games that were under bungie had some really great backgrounds that a lot of people were really hoping to have for themselves we also get to see some new skulls added to campaign some really fun stuff like we see our arcophobia which is basically the ability to fly uh, so we're going to see a lot of fun kind of interactions or just some fun moments but the biggest and probably the most influential part of this update has to be from the mod community i have to give a lot of props to the modders that they were hired by 3 for 3 to basically take old assets from the from halo ce and halo 2 that were never released and ask them to bring them to the to the forefront to the fray to now be played by everybody. And I think what's really cool about this is that you're starting to see all that investment bring, really pay off for 3 for 3 when it comes to having these modders take the time they need and resources they need to make some really great stuff. And you can see that there are some maps being brought back into the play. I think that this is going to be a really fun aspect that a lot of people are going to be excited about that. This is the level of work that modders can do. They can do some really great stuff. And I think this is just an example of that. You're going to see a lot more of those things being brought into MCC going forward. And I'm really excited to see what they have, but it's not even just maps, but it's also modes. I mean, you, you see modes that were later, like used later on, that were never seen in things like Halo 2 or Halo CE, but because of the modders had the ability to kind of get the tools they needed to do these different things, you're going to start seeing things like Griff Ball being added into Halo 2. You're going to see a lot of these newer game modes being brought into other games that were never once seen in that aspect. So being able to have this is only just going to make it better. And I got to give them a lot of props. I mean, July 12th is going to be a massive update for Halo Master Chief Collection. And I think that we're going to see a lot of fun things being brought to play. And I'm really excited to jump back into it. And I think that overall, yeah, there are some things that a lot of people were itching to have with this update. They were looking really to, to see more additions when it comes to the like mod modding kind of aspects being brought into for console players. I know a lot of people are uneasy whether or not these new modded features would be added to console MCC players, but that's really going to be the big question. Like all these little things, do they also kind of go cross platform? Do they not? Right. And I think that's something that's important to kind of keep in mind here. But overall, I think this is a great update by three for three. Master Chief Collection is going to have a lot of fun things to play as it already does, but it's going to have more things and more. There's a lot of excitement from the Halo community about this update. So I just want to give my little take on it. I'm going to be playing Master Chief Collection. It's going to be a lot of fun, but what do you guys think about the update? Do you think this is going to be a major impact? Do you think it's going to be an average one? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.